Well hello and welcome. This video is about the stock labelling system for Halpwerk which I've been working on for just over a year and it is now uh, fully ready and fully functioning and has been so for a while in my own Opus 2 organ uh, and I'm really convinced that it's a useful, most useful addition to um, Halpwerk uh, virtual pipe organs, especially where you have several sample sets installed. Because as we all know, the problem is that all organs are different. They've got different numbers of stops. They've got different arrangements of stops. Even the stop names are spelled differently sometimes, one from the other, even though they're the same stop. And they have different numbers of divisions and so on. And if you like to play many of the organs that you've got installed on your system, you have this problem of arranging <laughs> a scheme for labelling your stop controls. Well, honestly, this system solves that, that problem completely uh, because um, it's capable of uh, uh, outputting text onto small electronic labels. They are small, but they're very readily legible. Uh, just as soon as the organ concerned has loaded. Now, I produced um, some booklets some time ago um, about the construction of, of the, these stop label projects. Um, but I've actually decided that that wasn't the best way to um, uh, introduce people to the concept and introduce people to the project. Uh, so I've changed tack and what I've done now is I've released this uh, project as uh, a core kit of components. Four parts to the, four, to the, to the, uh, to the kit. Four parts uh, and then in addition to that all the other components that you need are described in detail um, and many of them, most of them, you can obtain from me, but you're perfectly free. In fact, I'd prefer you to source your own. And I do tell you exactly what you need so that you can go away and source the extra components. But if you're the kind of person who prefers, you know, just to have it all from one stop, as it were, um, then I can supply most of these um, items as well. Now, this first part of the video introduces you to the core component kit and the first part of the core con component kit is the construction manual which is here. Now those of you who've purchased some of the um, booklets that I've done on this project will kind of think that looks the same as those and it does from the outside except it's clearly labelled that it's a core kit construction manual and it's um, it's different inside because the approach that I've followed here um, is step by step um, in uh, uh, construction of the project uh, in great detail with lots and lots of photographs. I'll show you some of them. Photograph there, photographs here, further on, photographs there. Clear photographs showing you how, say, in the case of those photographs and these, showing you how you assemble all the components into the final product. Um, some of the items that you need to construct for yourself, although I'll do that for you if you really want me to, um, some of those items include the cabling and so on, which we'll talk about um, in, the, in another part of the video rather than now. Uh, and uh, you end up at the end of it with um, a, uh, you, you end up with a stop plate containing all the components ready to be installed in your own stop jam housing which you can make, make the housing from, uh, what is it, four other pieces of, um, of, uh, of ply. This is uh, the way I made mine. Um, you just need a top, two sides and a back because the stop plate constitutes the front. Okay, let's. That's the, that's the construction manual. Now, that you can buy that with the kit. You don't have to buy all the kit. If you buy, if you want to, and I might advise you to do this, you might prefer to buy this on its own first. B 
because then you can get to grips with purchasing any of the components you want to source for yourself and you can decide which ones you want to buy from me and also you can decide whether the project is within your capacity or not but really 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 it is within your capacity if I can do it I know that you can do it right let's have a look at the parts in the core kit this is one of the most important parts here this is the uh, stop plate and of course you need one on the left and one on the right and the stop plate in a pipe organ as everybody knows it holds those draw stops uh, and those draw stops are labelled. Now in our case there's 60 of these holes here which are the correct size for our stop switches but they'll also take your draw stops as well for the most part. You've got 60 of those then you've also got uh, 34 of these rectangular apertures and these rectangular apertures are exactly the right size and in exactly the right position to hold the electronic labels and there's 34 of those. Uh, most of them, um, uh, uh, 30 of them, are actually adjacent to the columns of uh, stop switches and they of course display the text of the stop for each stop switch well in fact that each one of these displays the text for the stop switch to its immediate left and its immediate right and there's plenty of room on my labels to enable you to do that and make it still make it completely legible the top four here because there's 34 there's 30 in those columns of 10 and then there's four at the top they display other information about um, the organ which uh, the instructions that are in the manual show you completely safely how to do that in Hauptwerk and to display the name of the organ, the builder, the date, the location and also to display the names of the organ divisions um, that are to be controlled from each of these columns. Now these stop, uh, stop panels, stop um, plates as they're known, um, they're available in two different kinds. First of all there are the black, the black acrylic labels which some of you will have seen on my videos of my Opus 2 organ. These are very smart, black acrylic, very smart indeed. They're exactly the same template as you've got here um, but they're in this black acrylic. The thing is black acrylic is a bit more expensive than beach so um, you can make the choice of either beach or black acrylic. They are identical in all other respects, apart from the price and apart from the material. But both of these produce a hugely professional product because I've had them produced by a professional laser company who have cut all these out to my template perfectly. So uh, that's, that's item one in our list of components in the, um, uh, in, in the, 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 the kit, the core component kit. Put that to one side. What's the next component? The next component is the PCB. In fact, you need three PCBs for each stop jam. Um, each PCB handles a column of labels. And these are, uh, I've designed them myself, uh, but I've had them manufactured in China. They work perfectly, so they're absolutely fine. And uh, it, the way um, they're made um, is they're made from a professional um, uh, PCB uh, manufacturer uh, and um, they're, all the component parts are clearly labelled so you know how to assemble them and the manual explains this as well. And I'm going to show you how that is actually done. Um, so that is the printed circuit boards of which there are three per stop jam. The final uh, component, uh, which is part of this kit, is not made by me. This is called an Arduino Due. Um, it's one of many Arduino microcontrollers or microcomputers, if you prefer, based on the ARM uh, Advanced Risk Machine uh, Processor, which was developed here in the UK uh, in 1986 by what was then called the Acorn Computer Company, who um, manufactured the BBC Micro all those years ago. Uh, there's a very interesting story in my book 
which is entitled um, All About Your Computer, about how the arm was born. Now, everybody knows now about arms being included in mobile telephones, tablets, uh, every other kind of device, but I bet you don't know how they came into being. That story is in my book, All About Your Computer. But this is not about my book, All About Your Computer. This is about our Stop Labeling project, so we'll stick to that subject. Now, the Arduino microcontroller, the DUA here, was chosen because it's got enough inputs and outputs. You can see all of these sockets here. It's got enough inputs and outputs to um, allow us to drive all the labels um, uh, uh, and make all the connections properly. Uh, not all the Arduino devices are suitable for that purpose. And also it has the second advantage which we need, which means that it supports USB MIDI so that it can provide MIDI input and MIDI output to your main computer, which in the case of the inputs, the MIDI inputs are the MIDI messages, which is the, top, the, stop, the stop text, right? And the output uh, is the, um, the, the signal that must control the OLEDs um, so that uh, uh, they, send the, they receive the correct text. So that's the Arduino Due. You can buy that from me because the other component that is required as part of that is the software. And I've written the software myself. Um, it's written in the C language. Uh, it, it's, it comes built into the microcomputer when you buy the Arduino Due. But if you would prefer to buy your own Arduino Due's, feel free, you can do that because you may have them, you may already have used them, um, you can get your, you can have your own and send them to me and I will upload to the um, Arduino Due, I will upload a copy of the software. You need one of those for each stop jam. So if you're building two stop jams, you need two of those, either from me, ready, uh, loaded with the software, or send me your own and I will load the software up for you. So that, in fact, brings us to the conclusion of the first part of these videos. Uh, we now know that the core kit comprises two um, stop plates if you're requiring two stop jams, or one stop plate if 60 stops is enough for you. Three or six of these printed circuit boards. Um, six if you're going to build two full-size stop jams. There are ways in which you can cut the stop plates down uh, and only have 40 um, uh, stops and, and a limited, more limited number of labels on there. But I don't really advocate that. You can do it if you really want to, but I don't quite um, advise that. But there you are. And then finally, third part of it all is that, the Arduino Due uh, and um, and the, the the construction manual. So there we are, those are the core components. In the next part, we're going to assemble the P a PCB. We're going to assemble a PCB and we're going to test the PCB to see whether it's working. And then uh, we will uh, we will assemble some of the stop switches and we will I will show you how you mount those onto the uh, uh, stop plate when you do the construction. Uh, I will also explain to you some of the cable, special cables that are needed for this project. So I'll see you in part two.